Okay, disclaimer, please ignore the sound in the back if you hear it. The neighbors mm. are doing something. yard work, housework, something. something. Long story short, you can see from the title in the thumbnail, we are leaving LA. Mm -hmm. And you're and like, and damn, like, it's probably like that, was, that was very quick of you. And honestly, we've been here for about two months um, in this house for about a month and almost two months, I'd say as well. We weren't even in this house for two months. So we just want to go into detail explaining why, when, how, all the ifs, ands, and buts. We talked a little about this on other social media platforms, aka Snapchat. Um, but we wanted to go into actual detail here before we posted it, like, and really got into it and talked about it. So. And you guys are probably extra confused because we literally just posted a prank of me saying I wanted to go home and Saad was like, Oh no, like we should like, we spent a lot of money. We should like stay the six months. Clearly but, a lot changed after that No, video. no, no, no. It's not even a lot has changed after that video. If you watch the whole video, we have, we all said the same thing that we missed the East Coast. So to start at the beginning, we wanted to make this move to LA because we have gone back and forth so many times about if we are meant to be in Boston uh -huh. or if we are meant to be in LA. Also, it's kind of given me like a hatred for living in the house that we lived in in Massachusetts which we have a beautiful house like I'm thankful and grateful for that house every single day but I've never wanted to like you know really put the pool in like we've thought about it and then I'm like uh and then like do the basement but like like it's just like the things that like I was like uh I don't know if I should do this yet because what if we move what if we go to California what if we had too many what ifs. We had too many what ifs and we would talk about doing all this stuff, but we never did it because we were like, what if we are meant to be in California? And throughout my lifetime and Julia's, even when we weren't dating, it has been something that we've both wanted to do. Yeah. So basically we were like, okay, we need to be able to say we did this. We need to be able to say we tried it so we can get an answer because we want to be happy wherever we are. We don't want to keep questioning it. Even like nights randomly when we're bored and we go on Zillow for fun. It was like so stressful still even going between Boston, LA, Boston, LA, Boston, LA. Like we needed to narrow it down to one or the other for us. Mm -hmm. Especially going into the future, like we're only getting older and like we, we are going to want kids in the next year or two. We're going to, you know, want to get engaged in the next year or two. So like... We want to have a place where we feel comfortable enough to settle down and not to say that Massachusetts wasn't. It was just we didn't know if California was going to be any better. We basically wanted to live like the quote unquote fast life a little mm -hmm. because life in Massachusetts is slow, if mm -hmm. that makes sense. Yeah. So we kind of felt like with our job and everything, we felt like we needed to do this. We thought we were going to get like all these like different opportunities, opportunities. And stuff, which we did we had good opportunities but at the end of the day what we realized is we have the same opportunities the same chance we've built everything we've had being on the east coast i agree and being in la really didn't make a difference for that aspect yes it was easier to go to things like for example if you saw we went to snap school that was right down the road but how often are we really going to snap? Or like, I went to TikTok. Like, am I going to go to TikTok every day? We realized like, it's not like that life-changing of a situation that we need to live in LA for. Sure, I will say there are amazing perks here. Like, literally having like our trainer here. Like, seeing our trainer in person. The weather. The weather here is amazing. Pig has been loving the pool. They've been loving the weather. We've been taking them on so many walks. And... We've literally, honestly, I would say, like, it is a beautiful place. I love California still. This doesn't make me hate California, but... It's a place to visit. It's definitely a place to visit, and we've realized that. And also, one thing I really must say is just, bro, I hate the time zone. It, I don't think I could ever live on it, and, like, we just miss our friends and family on the East Coast so much. Not to say, like, we don't like our friends here. We just, like... My family's there, and that family is also Julia's family. And like, that's our home. That's our home. Like, Coming here made us realize that is our and home. And it made us appreciate it more, which we've always appreciated it, but we've always been like, oh, would we be happier in California? Oh, would we do this in California? And I'm happy that, you know, from what we know, we only have one life, and I don't want to live with any regrets. 
and I'm thank I'm like thankful thankful enough. I'm blessed enough where I can do that, where I can yeah, go and try and go somewhere and then have that home and that safety. Yeah. So, with all that being said, we really do like California, but it's just not a place to live. Not for us to live. Anytime, and I don't know about you guys, but we love playing video games and stuff, and anytime we're going to get on those video games, all of our friends are sleeping. Like, by the time it's six here, it's nine there, and it's really hard. Even with you guys, we've yeah. built so much of a fan base on the East Coast, even Central Time, mm -hmm. and being on Pacific Standard Time is so hard. Also, so hard. especially for Snapchat. It's it's a lot because I got a lot of East Coast people and by the time I'm like really getting active and stuff They're getting ready to go to sleep So I even asked on Snapchat. I was like, what do you guys? What, what do you guys think and they're like we miss East Coast even you guys on here were saying we miss East Coast and We do too. Yeah. So now that we've talked about that. Let's we're talk about babies. let's talk about how we are getting home How are we getting home? How did how did how were the dogs getting home? Because oh <sighs> that's a whole nother thing. We, all three of us, being me, and Antonio, yes, are driving these dogs back across the country. I love them. This is such I'm, a life lesson it. learned. It's a life lesson learned, but we're gonna do it. Um, oh my god! Why honestly, I think it'll be fun, and like we've. Drove. I know this is a lot longer of a drive. This is literally like 43 hours. That's non-stop. We're yeah, obviously gonna stop. That's without like with or without traffic type situation oh my too. God. So what we're going to be doing is, I mean, like you, we've been like from Kentucky. I know 16 is, hours is the furthest drive I've done. And I absolutely hate my life when it's when I do. But that. I feel like us will have stuff to talk about. I hope. <laughs> Guys, I really can't. I'm just, listen, I'm happy that we learned what we learned here. And honestly, it was very eye-opening here. I feel like you deal with FOMO a lot more than oh me. Oh my God, I am going to go back to Boston and I'm not going to have FOMO when I see people doing stuff. That's another thing I realized is that, like, I knew, but I didn't know. Like, everything on social media is it's a lot a highlight of, like, something like people will be at an event it'll be so lame it'll be so miserable but people post on social media making it look like they have the best time ever i will say there's been a couple events recently that we've been to that are like 10 out of 10. yeah but like i'd rather live home yeah and then like for those really good events like we already are planning to come back here in the next couple of months but by that time our lease would have already been up too as well so like we know if something's important we will fly out here now we have our answer. We yeah. had to do this to have our answer. Like Saad said, it's not that we don't like LA. We love LA. This just isn't home. I know, and we're like slowly but surely telling all of our friends here. And like everybody is just like, so sad. no. And like, I feel bad because I feel like I've actually gained like a community that like at home I like semi had but like really didn't have. And that is like the trans community. Like I didn't really have that sense of community yeah. and then going to like west hollywood and stuff and like with my friends and like being able to talk about like the problems that we deal with or like the hardships that you deal with as a trans man in society we've been able to like talk about that and even just like hang out and like i have friends to hang out with but like obviously you don't know somebody's struggles unless you're really going through them you know you yeah. can really be like i feel sorry for you and like all that or like i'm not looking for sympathy though i'm not like that i feel so I, that's not what i'm saying though i'm saying like i just personally like i had people that like they literally went through the same shit as me yeah so it's like i'm gonna miss them and i literally like i i texted them and they were so sad and, like we're gonna try to hang out again we're gonna try to hang out again before You'll we do leave. You'll see them whenever we come back. But it just, it does suck because like you even have friends here. I know, I, well, I told Maddie here. and Maddie was like, we've made it this long being long distance friends. Like it's gonna be fine. Yeah, like it just like, it sucks. Like I was, you know, I went to raves. I went to a, a, a drag show for the first time. I was going to the club. Like it was, it was a great experience. And like, it was fun to like have my time and then yeah. your time. Like you could go with your friends. I could go with mine. I mean, but it's not everyday life. It's not everyday life out here. It's really not. And also I'm, I'm super bummed about this too. I just got another tattoo 
And knowing me, I'm going to want to get my tattoo done by the same person every single time. And like, I, I didn't even get to show you guys this, but I just got this done yesterday. Ooh. Ooh. La la. So I just got all this done yesterday. And I literally told her, I was like, girl, I'm leaving you. And she was like, well, like, it was like nice, like, like, Ooh, sorry. Oh, it's okay. It was nice, like, tattooing you, and, like, if you're ever here in the future, I was like, I'm literally coming back in a couple of months, so it's fine. Like, <laughs> I'll see you soon. But I'm actually getting another tattoo on Friday. <laughs> um, to fill in the elbow, because people on Snapchat and Julia and everybody else are like, you need to do something to the elbow. So, before I leave, I am doing this. This is empty on this side, and I'll probably do this when I come back to LA. But yeah, that's fine. We can give me. that a break, but we're just gonna fill in the elbow. So, it's just like, we've had, like, so many cool opportunities here and we met so many cool people and that's good but when we come back to this house is it our home no i i can't see myself raising a family here i can't see myself feeling homey here mm -hmm. um it's a beautiful house don't get me wrong but just because it's a beautiful house doesn't mean it's home yeah um and i think i've taken my house in massachusetts for granted and like we've even said multiple times, like, and we've been talking about it, we can renovate our house to make it look the way we want. It's a beautiful house, but like, say like, oh, it sucks, we don't have a pool. At the end of the day, we can get a pool. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I don't wanna get a pool. I don't wanna get a pool right now either. Cause we realized here at this house, how many times did we use it? Three times? It was for the dogs. We Literally did the last leave the hot time. tub. The, but we can take them to the lake like we can take them the, to the beach. lake, the beach and I will say if you guys like have no interest in Massachusetts Summers in Massachusetts. Oh, they're supreme. They're supreme They're they're, they're supreme. beautiful. They're I love them Like we have to explore more of like the Cape and stuff because I've lived there my whole life And I get to like really explore the Cape. I've been down there a couple of times But like I think I'm gonna feel a little anxious and sick until we get home because now that I know we're going home, I'm just ready to be there, like, tomorrow, today. Oh. You know? Oh. Like, I'm... Today. I'm ready to be there. I am too. And, like, it just sucks now. I'm but, ready. for the meantime, Antonio's birthday is tomorrow. We have a couple more things to do. We have to fix the car. We have to fix the car. We have to pack everything. Maddie's oh still God, here. This is going to be such a long time. Maddie's ride. still here, so, like, we don't want to, like ruin her time here i mean she's excited though she's like hey y'all are, are coming home four months early Aww. but we're not staying the whole time and i just want to say this one last time we are not staying the whole time because we realized and we are aware we got our answer and we got our answer because people on snapchat and since we got our answer we were like okay if we know we want to be home why are we gonna waste our time it's, here and we're also it's been really like hard for me with, with this time zone like actually so hard for me to feel like some type of motivation or to like even like like just knowing you guys are like on the east coast three hours ahead it stresses me out yeah like and i don't think i could ever get past that and like i miss obviously that. people do but we're not we're not because we're east coasters mm -hmm. so we've had a great time here i still love la there's nothing really bad to say like oh this this that but like I just miss the homey vibes that Massachusetts brings and I'm happy we were able to like experience this and mm -hmm. like now we can put this to a rest because you guys get annoyed probably. Y'all said it. You guys do this every winter. You well, won't have to hear us do it anymore. Never have to hear us anymore complain about, oh, we don't know where we want to live because we know where we want to live and like I won't be sitting somewhere in a nursing home one day being like, I regret this. That's true. That's 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 inge that's like really all that matters. I'm happy, blessed, thankful for all the opportunities. But LA it's Sayonara. And it I'm sorry, but it's so crazy that these dogs are in California. I know. Oh my god, babe. Oh my we brought them out. They've they enjoyed their time. They've enjoyed their time. They've been to the listen, they've been to the, listen, to the dog park, they've been meeting other dogs, <sighs> like it was a vacation for them. How many dogs can say they, Tro they cross drove across? I mean, are they going to say it to a human? No. But we know. You guys know. Oh, uh, that car ride. But I'm excited to go home. I really am. So we're going to be going home sometime next week. Guys, I'm trying to bang this car ride out in like two days. 
Antonio I, made it five. I'm not doing that. Well, he was teams. he was resting, and there was only two people. But there's three people that could drive this. Time. Like we got to get it done. Ace. We're gonna be Snapchatting the whole entire thing. So how we're gonna be driving for 16 hours? How are we gonna Snapchat? There's two other people in the car. Um, we don't know the specific day we're leaving. Just sometime next week when we have like everything figured out. So we'll keep you updated on that. Maybe we'll do like a vlog. Would you guys want to see a road trip, like a three day road trip video? That'd be fun. Yeah, we should do it. Yeah. Last to leave the car. Last to stop going crazy in the car. Oh my god. That, that'd be fun. Okay. Uh, anyway, guys, that's all for this video. Mm. With that being- I hope you enjoy our decision. Oh. Yeah, I hope, I feel like a lot of people will be happy. The, the West Coasters might be a little sad, but we have a lot of people that were commenting, go home. So we're going home. Um, so we hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, make sure you subscribe and with that being said, we, we love, love you guys. guys. We, we will see you later, later and stay, stay A1. A1.